Liesl, firstly, congratulations on your feature film debut. I thought it was absolutely beautiful and so well made. Oh, thank you so much. So glad to hear that. You're no stranger to the entertainment industry. I mean, you're a renowned theater director. You're the first black woman ever to be nominated for a Tony Award for Best Direction of a Play. But this is your first ever feature film, and it's about an international icon, Aretha Franklin, which is a huge deal. Going into this project, definitely, I thought to myself, what kind of crazy person makes the Aretha Franklin biopic as their first studio, first feature film? Like that's a that's insane. Um, so I definitely questioned myself a lot. But at the same time, when they called me. I knew exactly what the film should be. I knew exactly what time period it should cover. I knew the songs that it should have. You know, I, like as they say, I had no chill. I didn't wait to be invited to talk about it. I just dove right in. While I was like definitely questioning the opportunity, I knew that it was my job, that it, I was the one that should direct it. Okay. You really like it? We love it, Riri. And you were born in Cape Town and moved to the U.S. when you were 15. How do you think growing up in apartheid South Africa influenced the way that you tackled this film and your work in general? Well, you know, I grew up in a time and in a place where I was surrounded by people speaking about politics and I was surrounded by, you know, by activism. And that is very similar to Aretha Franklin's upbringing. You know, she also had a dad who was very candid and, and outspoken in a time where black men were not, were punished for that. Um, and she was, you know, surrounded by that kind of conversation. And so I grew up to be a person who always considers politics, who always consider, considers specifically race politics um, and sex politics in the, you know, the, 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 in my work environment and the work that I do. And Aretha Franklin was very much like that. And Aretha Franklin herself handpicked Jennifer Hudson to play her before she passed away in 2018. And the cast is incredible. I mean, you have Oscar winners, of obviously Jennifer Hudson and Forrest Whitaker, uh, Audra McDonald, Mary J. Blige. It's crazy. What was the vibe like behind the scenes? The vibe was fun. We had a lot of fun on set. It was a very joyful set. Every, but I mean, I think the sign is that every no actor was ever late. Everybody came ready to do their best, to, you know, to 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 work to honor Aretha Franklin. But everybody loved the script, and everybody believed in the vision. I got a single by this new chick named Aretha Franklin. How different was it directing a feature film compared to plays? I definitely used my my theater background because I've done you know musicals. I love musicals, and I wanted to use music in this film the way that I would in a musical. You know, I wanted lyrics of songs to tell a story, not just be like, and now we're gonna go to a song and then we're gonna, you know, but <laughs> that it had had meaning. It was furthering emotional journey of characters. It was furthering storytelling of, of, of the film. And I think that people listen and engage with songs differently if, it, if they know that like a lyric is also telling a story. Growing up in Cape Town, music was a huge part of my life and, you know, our culture. I, you know, at any family gathering, there was always an uncle with a guitar and everybody would sing. And when we would go camping, they would bring a guitar up the mountain <laughs> and at night in front of, around the fire, they'd be singing. So I just feel like I was exposed to music from a very young age as something that was really important. I know you're also directing the film adaptation of Trevor Noah's autobiography, which is so exciting, uh, starring Lupita Nyong'o. Um, what does it mean to you to be doing a South African based film? But I've never done one about South Africa. And I think it's because it, for me, it just had to be perfect. It had to be right. It's so personal. There's so much pain, you know, in our past that you, you're not going to put yourself back there unless it really, really counts. And to me, the Trevor Noah book, um, Born a Crime, Trevor himself is so meaningful and he's such an incredible storyteller that I felt like this was the right one. And it, it means so much. It means it's everything, you know, like you, I, I've always been looking for that right story about South Africa. And I think this is the one for me. 
Liesl, oh, it's been so amazing chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. All the best. And I cannot wait to see more of your work. Oh, thank you so much, Nadia. It's a pleasure. I